So I had a conversation with someone earlier this week and it started with me asking them the question, why they have the desire to change their physique by building more muscle, uh, by getting stronger and getting leaner. So I asked them this and it initially really took them aback. They had a lot of trouble answering that question. So he said to me, wow, I like, I really want these things, but it's hard for me to articulate exactly what those reasons are. So he was thinking, and then he kind of, he turned the question around on me looking for help so that he could answer the question for himself. And so he asked me, well, what is my reason for uh, being drawn to being muscular and strong and, and lean and for lifting weights and, and being involved in fitness? And admittedly, when he asked me that question, I was taken aback too. It took me uh, <laughs> at least a few seconds to be able to answer that question, probably longer. So um, I paused and I really had to, to, to think about it and dig deep to what my reasoning actually is. And I do believe that my reasons are, are very deep. Thus, thus the reason I had to really pause and think a bit about it. So a couple things um, flashed into my head when I was thinking amidst this conversation. And the first thing was, well, I had a little bit of a flashback and I remembered when I was nine or 10 years old, I think I was in fifth grade and my fifth grade class uh, had a scheduled field trip at the end of the year. So it must've been like early mid June or something like that. So it was summer, it was nice. It was hot out. And that field trip was to the water slides. And I remember when it came to that time of the year and we were about to go on that field trip, it must have been days or a week before. I remember at home, I had like a breakdown basically. And like I told my parents, like, I don't want to go. Like, I, I do not want to go on this on this field trip. And I ended up not going on the field trip. And the reason for that was because at that age, uh, so I was nine or 10 years old, um, I was so self-conscious about what I looked like without a shirt on. And yeah, I was, I was nine or 10 years old and I was that self-conscious about myself. Um, so maybe that seems like it's a bit surprising. Someone that young was so, uh, say sensitive about the way they looked, but hey, that is the truth. That's how I felt. Um, I wasn't like obese or, or um, like excessively overweight. I was a little bit chubby, admittedly. I had uh, some, some, some definitely had some extra body fat around my midsection when I was that young. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't unhealthy or anything like that, but I was very, very sensitive and insecure about the way that I looked. So I thought about this and I'm, and I've still, I've been thinking about this more and more and, and I was just a very, very, and I think I still am uh, a very insecure, a very insecure person. And I found that lifting weights, and I started when I was, geez, like 11 or 12, so not that long after, um, but I found that lifting weights was something that I could do to kind of drown out that insecurity with confidence. So I'd lift weights, and my intention was to be more muscular and stronger. And that way I felt I, I, I could feel good about how I looked and how I felt because I was more muscular and I was confident and I was stronger. So I felt capable and able and competent. But, um, but yeah, so I think that that's like maybe it's one of the two original and the deepest reasons why I'm so drawn to lifting weights and to be muscular and big and strong. And to be perfectly honest, I think that reason, it's, it's still there. That's one of the things that holds me to, to continuing holding lifting in my life and, and, and potentially it being the greatest passion, what I'm most passionate in my life um, as well, because I really, really do love it. And I think that's something that's grown over time, but um, it's this original reason of just being a very insecure person initially that kind of, that was what drew me to the lifting weights and the building muscle and getting stronger and, and sometimes focusing on getting lean. Now, so that's one of the reasons. And now there's another reason too, a second reason. It's kind of, it's kind of related. Actually, I would say it's very related to that, to the first reason. And um, see, when I was, 
when I was very young and still to to this day, I really love science fiction type movies and TV shows and video games back then. I don't play as much anymore, but I certainly did. Um, and I was really drawn to these 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 uh, uh, bits of entertainment that involve these characters that have like superpowers or could use the force like in Star Wars or magic like Harry Potter um, uh, or they just were like really heroic and they overcame obstacles and they were like um, uh, average Joes that became something amazing like they overcame uh, like tremendous obstacles and accomplished really great things and they were all I guess the word the first word that comes to mind was they were all special in some way um, And I remember watching this and I envied them so much. I wished I was them I wished that like there was something about me that set me apart whether that having superpowers or going on some great quest like Frodo and Sam and and like accomplishing something amazing and and um, uh, yeah, being competent and able and strong. And so I wished, I wished I was these characters. And well, I remember there was one time when we went and saw, my family and I, we went and saw the second X-Men movie. So I think it was X-Men United. And I must've been around fifth grade. It must, I must've been like nine or 10 years old. I think it came out in the early 2000s, something like that. And I remember seeing the movie and like, man, it was awesome. I loved it. And, uh, but at the same time, I remember leaving the theater and being like, man, I'm, I'm kind of sad because, hey, I don't have the ability to like manipulate fire and like throw it around or like generate ice like Iceman or be like Wolverine and have uh, adamantium claws and be able to recover from like bullets um, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. And so I was, I was sad because I didn't have superpowers and I figured, hey, I'm never going to have superpowers. So this really sucks. And I felt really bad about it. And um, so I guess the reason I bring this up is because I was always wanting something that set me apart, that made me feel competent and even, I don't know if this is the right word, maybe it is the right word, um, it's not kind of cliche, kind of generic, but I wanted something that would make me feel kind of special because I felt like I saw these movies and these, saw these characters and I felt like man, I wish I was, I was more, I wish I was something more. And maybe that sounds egotistical too, but I don't mean it that way. And um, anyways, again, weightlifting too, lifting weights and building muscle and getting stronger was kind of the answer. It was the solution to that problem and that pain that I actually faced. So again, I'd lift weights and I'd become more muscular and stronger, I'd get bigger. And that set me apart a little bit, right? I was stronger than, I became stronger than, than some other people and uh, more muscular. And so it was something that set me apart a little bit. I felt more confident, more capable because I was strong and because I was bigger and at times leaner. I, I've not always been like super contest prep lean, that's for sure. Um, but especially like being bigger and more muscular and stronger, those were things that filled in the the hole for me that, that I felt like I was missing when I was younger and I was so envious of these superheroes and these characters that did amazing things so that was that was and that is kind of the answer for me and although like like thinking back at all those initial reasons that um, got me hooked to lifting weights and that kept me doing it for so long consistently and I'm thinking about well what are my reasons now honestly it's, it's, Geez, it's the same thing. It's this, the same reason. So I, I'm, I guess to be perfectly honest, like I am, I am an insecure person, and um, lifting weights and, and being strong or in, and big and muscular is something that um, helps me to replace that insecurity with confidence and the feeling of of being capable. And um, it also fills that other hole that I felt that I was missing which is like, it makes me feel like I, I stand apart a little bit. And again, like that's not meant to, to, be, to be egotistical or anything by any means, but it, it's something that fills the hole and it gives me a sense of, uh, um, I think the right word would be a sense of fulfillment. Um, but yeah, so I'd say that those are probably 
the reasons, the deepest reasons why I was initially drawn and I'm still uh, so drawn and in love with lifting because it did, it, it initially wasn't a passion, but I did it for so long and I got better at it that I did become passionate about it. And now, now I still have those reasons, but I also love doing it. So I'm fortunate in that regard. But anyways, that was the, the answer that I had to fork out and somehow uh, share with this individual. I'm not sure I actually shared it the way I am right now. I don't know if I actually articulated it in a clear way, but there you go. Um, but yeah, so um, what about what about you guys? Do you what are your reasons for for, for lifting weights, for being muscular, uh, stronger, leaner? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you for watching, um, and I will see you in the next video. See ya.